Hi, welcome to the Ask Patrick series. Today's question is by Shailendra Shindi. Question is, how do pre how, how do I prepare for uh, general awareness for the GDPI VAT sec section such when I'm preparing for GDPI VAT? Now, basically, the general awareness is too vast. But normally, if you look at in the interview, what is normally asked is the current issues that are going around. They want to be to check whether you're aware about. There are sometimes static questions asked. But the most common things are normally the current issues. So if you're looking at an interview, let's start with the interview and then look at the GD or VAT. So for the interview, if you're preparing, look at the issues that are going around, political, business issues that are going around, and try to find out both sides of the coin. I mean, don't look at one perspective. You may be biased towards one area, but try to find out balance between the two. What are the pros for it? What are the cons for it? It's very important when you go in an interview, you come across a balanced perspective and not a very biased aspect on one area of the coin. You may have your opinion in a final say that I'm more inclined towards this, but you need to know the other person's point of view also, the other side of the coin. And that is very important. So in that case, whatever important events or things that are going around, please write it down and note down both sides of the coin. Also, if you are into an area or a business uh, or work which lot of news comes along for example maybe you are a financial analyst or you are in the stock market then you need to know about what's happening in the stock market or you may be a ca tax then you need to know what are the tax changes that are happening on or in your business interest maybe textiles and government has brought in new regulations know about the new regulations that are happening around so know about specifically your industry and how what is the changes happening around in your industry not only in the country but across the globe in terms of how your industry is getting changed over a period of time uh, with our in the futuristic perspective and how maybe technology will influence your uh, your business as such that is as far as the pi is concerned now when you look at group discussion and that similar way you either one way of doing is classify the topics that come for the interview into different categories maybe one category could be like economic one category could be maybe something on elections. So one category could be like uh, uh, on uh, COVID. One category could be health. Different categories as such or rural populations. Now for each of these categories that you have, normally have some examples and stats. So normally when you're in a group discussion or in a VAT session, it helps to have some uh, examples and some stats that you mentioned in the VAT. But yes, you cannot have you know, uh, example and VAT, uh, example and start for all the topics that are there. There's so many topics. Therefore, cluster them into groups. So if you have few examples for each cluster, maybe you can use those examples for a topic that comes across. And that could help. I mean, that could really help because a good example or a good uh, stat normally helps to drive your point in a VAT or, or VAT or a G. So in that case, make notes of these, whatever you read. So when you read on a particular topic or when you come across a good example, please make note of it. Classify it. Try to think about where can I use it? How can I use it? And that should hopefully help you to improve. Don't look at too many examples. Doesn't help. But yes, look at some examples that can be used for number of topics or number of places. That will reduce the number of you know examples that you should remember. And hopefully that will help you to improve score proudly. Hope that helps. Thank you.